Call all your help, Hashem, Yahushai, Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shout on to the brethren. Got this article here from RT entitled Plastic Pollution Could Kill Our Oceans in 30 Years. And the global trade titans simply don't care. It had some precepts that were surfaced to mind that reflect how this world is being destroyed and how it's languishing under the watch and ship management of the so-called white man, the devil the Bible speaks of, Esau, Edom. All right. And this is another addition of shameful spewing on this man's glory, which has been turned to to uh, shame. All right. I'm going to just try to get a little of this article. You know, they have a lot of fucking um, drama in this shit. But it says there's a simple solution to the threat our oceans face. You use less plastic. History shows there are alternative products but because of the dominance of worldwide consumer monopolies. Profit is being prioritized before protection. Okay, so there's a solution to the pollution and the the um, the loss and lack of vitality, which is what languishing means. There's actual um, a way to 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 reverse that, and that's by using less plastic, man, or eliminating the use of plastic, which. As it says here, there's alternate forms of that. um, Salakia, there's alternate forms of like containers and um, alternatives for the shit he uses plastic for. But it's it's not um, cost effective enough for this nigga, man. All right. He he can get more profit, significantly more profit by not using it, man. And the fact that it's destroying the earth and the people in it is of small consequence to him. All right? That's that collateral damage. That this nigga is a, is a fucking kid. How it says in the scriptures that they that are younger than I have us in derision. And also it says that, that uh, women, that um, children are our oppressors. All right? So this nigga is a fucking child and um, conducts himself as such to where... That that um, that use of plastic, even though it's saving him a couple extra bucks, is fucking up the world, man. And in his own shit, collateral damage goes into. Now you're implicating not only your own people, but eventually it's gonna it's gonna fuck you over, man. But he don't care. He's an unwise leader, man. He's a retard. It says the prediction might be more accurately stated as. There will be only plastic remaining in the ocean by 2050. Perhaps a few jellyfish. It is also likely that only 10% of coral reef will be left alive. All right. And what happens if the oceans were rendered um, pretty much fucking obsolete, if you will? Now you can't get any of the, um, the food, which is the fish. The lawful fish, that is. All right. And then on top of that, you got this nigga fishing out, um, extracting out all of the um, the scavengers and the different creatures that weren't intended for us to eat. That their sole purpose was to perform different functions in the ocean, man, to keep it regulated. But this fucking nigga... um, has to do everything against the scriptures all right so that is to say in only 30 years from now it is quite possible that the oceans will be effectively dead okay we can stop right there just gonna um to expound on the of straight up pollution crisis and and the fact that it's in a inevitable state of of um, deterioration. It's in a state that will, will inevitably lead to its end if the Most High didn't intervene, man. All right? This is another uh, more proof 
another piece of evidence that proves that if we were to continue in the Most High to intervene and come and and uh, uh, bring the tribulation and the prophecies, everything He prophesied to bring to to end this age that we're in, Esau's rulership, then there would be no flesh left to be saved. In Matthew 24 and 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right? And ultimately, that's the beautiful conclusion of it, is that the Most High is shortening the days he's bringing that intervention because the intervention isn't just one and one act on one day which which is really when the missiles drop and he returns in his chariots Yahushua returns in his chariots with the host of angels it's an actual gradual process man so he's shortening the days he's making his intervention now like it says in second edges the ninth chapter that he would um, return to the world he'd visit the world in which he made in the form of visitations in the form of uh, natural disasters and tribulation man calamities chaos and that's how he's uh, uh, shortening this thing up that's why he says how he's speeding up the times man and eventually he's gonna um, it's going to be a definitive marker for the world to know that this thing is fucking done, man. It's it'll it'll be a definitive um, indication that we're we're on, we're on the way out of here, man. There's gonna come a time when the, all the people in this world are gonna know and profess that we're at the end, that we we're at the end, that it's over. All right. It says, and, and this is why no flesh would be saved, though. Second Edges 14 and 17. For look, how much the world shall be weaker through age. So much more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. All right. So this world has become weaker through so-called white man Esau Edom his taxation of the resources in this land man it's been weaker through um, this man's evil wicked <clears throat> mismanagement of the earth by his iniquity and transgressing the laws that's why this place is fucking destroyed man and it's become weaker and, and because the world has become weaker, the calamities are going to have worse effect. The, the, the natural disasters, the storms, the earthquakes. Uh, um, right now you have in Tri-City area of Carson, Torrance, and Compton, you got fucking noxious fumes coming out from the Dominguez Channel, from fucking uh, uh, rotting vegetation. All right. That's the earth fucking mourning and languishing, man, and becoming weaker. All right. It says in uh, Psalms 82 and 5, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. The day that is speaking of is the so called white man, Esau, Edom, but primarily the elites of of uh of that of that nation man the elites of Esau Edom the Amalekites and other um chief edomites man they th those are the ones that know not and walk on in darkness those are the ones that it just mentioned um are about the pro are about profit okay Salaki, let me get that again. Let me get that. Because it stated exactly what these fucker, fuckers were. It gave a, a category for them, man. All right. Let's see. Let's see. 30 years. 30 years. And, of course, they bury this, this uh, 
article, you know. It's coming up right now. Salakia. Fucking Satan. It says, um, the global trade titans, man. All right. This is, what does it say? The dominance of worldwide consumer monopolies, man? Who the fuck do you think that is? They have a lot of different titles, fucking a thousand different titles, man. But that's one of them. That's who they are, though. They are the ones that walk on in darkness that, look, that darkness goes into their stupidity, to them not having knowledge and wisdom, man, to, to not use plastic and to not pollute and destroy the fucking earth that they have to live on. All right? All the foundations of the earth are out of course. That's right. Everything's fucked up and not operating correctly because this man just jumbled everything up, man. It says in Isaiah 24 and 4, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. That's that article verbatim. Just told you that the um the oceans would fucking would cease uh uh would pretty much die if in the next 30 years and if we go if we were to continue that long huh that's why when brothers say we we don't have another five years that's a very um wise astute spiritual uh speculation man Because this world is languishing, which means to lose or lack vitality. And when something is languishing, when you lose vitality, that it's it go it's to a means to an end. That see, you lose and lack vitality. You don't just lose and lack vitality forever. It's an eventual time where, where that life bar is drained, man. Where where it gets to its end, where it's destroyed. Or it's rendered useless, man. And that's the state of this fucking world. And the people in it is fading away. That's why the Most High is going to intervene and destroy this devil, man. But this is this is what it is. It is in Jeremiah, finishing off, Jeremiah 50 and 23. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation? among the nations, all right? That hammer the whole earth is going into Esau, Edom. And as a hammer, he has bashed up and broken and destroyed the foundations of the earth through his wickedness, man. Through uh, transgressing the laws, not uh, following the ordinances of nature that the Most High set up. Law, statutes, and commandments. What has he done? He's destroyed this whole place. We can go on fucking to the end of time. Going into all this man's uh, uh, destruction of the earth. With his industry and everything else, man. All right. But the most high is going to fucking destroy this man, man. He's going to he's going to cut him asunder. All right. And eventually, a the spiritual because we're coming into the, the um, the parting asunder of times, man. Huh? And in the parting asunder of times is synonymous with the cutting asunder, and the breaking of Esau, Edom, the devil. The Bible speaks of, man. Huh? It says, "How is Babylon?" And then it specifies Babylon, uh, uh, this wicked, evil, sinful kingdom, queendom. That you fucking people uh, uh, know as America, man. And how has it become desolate? How has it become uh, desolation among the nations, man? How? Because it is guilty. All right. It says that that um, this place has to be cleansed with the blood of the the men. Who shed the blood of the saints, of the Israelites, man. Of the innocent blood. So this place has to be um, a fucking 
this place is guilty of more bloodshed and crimes and wickedness from the inception to 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 this very fucking moment that it has to be um it has to be a an example man to the world that's why it's going to be desol- a desolation among the nations man because it has to be known that this that uh wickedness is to be stamped out in the greatest way to be fucking destroyed it, and um, Esau Edom, man, which is synonymous with that. All right. And the most high glorified eternity. All right. So with that, all praise to Yahweh, Shemuel, Shai, Shalom.